We are Israel united in Christ. We are here to teach the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that we are the children of God. That's right. So you said that a co-worker of yours told you to watch us on the video, right? And said, and what'd she say? Yeah, what'd she, what'd she tell you? Why'd she tell you to watch us? Right. Get Isaiah uh, chapter 29, verse 9. All right, yeah, we're we going to bring it out then. I, I kind of understand what you're talking about. The co-worker, he's seen us. The spirit was on him. He was like, hey, this is the truth. Because you're making a comparison between what they teach it in the church and what we teach it. You know, it's a, it's a difference because the Bible is not about religion. The Bible ain't never been about religion. But that's what they teach in the church. You don't find Pentecostal, Baptist, none of that stuff in the Bible. Those are modern uh, denominations. So... Get uh, Isaiah chapter 29, verse 9. Yeah, start in verse 9 and then uh, read down. Bring it out. The book of Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 9. Bring it out. Stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken but not with wine. They stagger but not with strong drink. Right, so when you look at these pastors, they, they don't break down the scriptures. They don't know what's going on. Our people, we in disarray. We, we drunk, but not with wine. We drunk with philosophy of the world. Right, because right. the Bible is easy to understand. You, you'll talk to these pastors, and then you'll ask them basic stuff in the Bible, but they can't give you no understanding. Right. So that's why once you start keeping the commandments, the understanding comes out. Right, right. You know, And that's what we're doing now. Read on, verse 10. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. Right, so we sleep right now in America, especially our pastors. They sit in these positions to give us the knowledge to feed us. That's what the shepherd's supposed to do. They're supposed to feed the sheep, but they're not doing that. they taking your money. they exploiting the people. How is it that the church is here? The church has been here since, all these churches since slavery, since we got out. And it's the same thing that's happening over and over and over. We've been out of slavery, so-called chattel slavery, since what, 1865, but all things remain the same. Right. It's a church on every block, right. but all sin is still rampant in the hoods. Right. And the ghetto ain't nothing changing. But the church, they say, hey, come as you are, stay as you are. Come on. And have closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers hath he covered. Right, so it's a it's a covering over these uh, pastors right now, like your T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar, all these so-called Edomite pastors, uh, John Hagee and uh, my can't, Osteen, all them, they teaching prosperity doctrine. They teaching sow a seed, you get money. They teaching for, for filthy lucre. They not giving you the game. They not giving you the sense. Come on. And the vision of all is but come unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. Right. So when they look at this Bible, they looking at it like, hey, nobody got to understand out of the Bible. We got to wait till Christ come back. But the scriptures say the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, a good understanding are all they that keep the commandments. Come on. Right. And the vision of the of the of all is but come unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, come on. which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot. Right. So. Like you say, we go to these pastors and stuff, we ask them for the understanding. They say, I can't give you the understanding. Only God know. I don't know. But our people, we hungry for it. It's like it's a famine in the land right now. Right. Because our people, they searching for truth. They searching for knowledge, but they don't know where to get it. So yeah. all praise to the Most High that the brother told you to watch us because we, we know in part, we prophesy in part. But the things we do know, we're going to bring it to our people. Yeah. Because that's why we out here, that's to raise up our nation. Right. We got to get... One third of Israel to repent and the leaders of Israel to 144. Right. We got to wake up to start keeping God's commandments. Right. Uh, get verse 13. Okay. Verse 13. Wherefore the Lord saith, For as much okay. as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. Right. I know you got to go, but just listen to this while you go. It say, Our people, we say we love God. You look at all these patrons in the church, the people that sit on the first row, number one titles, all that stuff, they love God. They having a uh, so-called Holy Ghost shouting, falling out. They saying they giving all the money, you know, all this stuff. They love God, but they ain't doing nothing the Bible say. That's what the scriptures say. They, with their lips, they honor me, but they heart, meaning they mind, is removed way far from me. So, what, what she's, let me know what she's saying, officer. He said, what it mean when he said they kiss the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost, that's, get that in, uh, what's that, Mark, Mark 5 and 20, 
Yeah, Mark there. Get that, Mark 9 and 20. When they get the Holy Ghost, that's not of God. Right. The, when you read the scriptures, the Holy Ghost is the laws of God. She said it never made sense to her when people just jumping and bouncing out on the floor. She said at first it scared her, but now it just bothered her. Right. It's, it's irksome. You got that? Mark 9 and 20. That's what I want. Yep. All right. Listen to this. Sis. The book of Mark, chapter 9 and verse 20. And they brought him unto him. And when he saw him, straightway the spirit tear him. And he fell on the ground and wallowed foaming. Come on. And he asked his father, how long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, of a child. And oftentimes he, that it had cast him into the fire and it and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Yeah, verse 25. Verse 25. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him and enter no more into him. Right, so this was a man that fell out on the ground foaming at the mouth like he an epileptic or something. That's what they do in the churches. They fall out on the on the ground and say, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Wig falling off, all they underparts showing, acting a damn fool in the church. And the most high God, Christ said that that's a foul, wicked spirit. That's, that's right. not that's not a spirit of God. That's Nowhere right. in the Bible do you see our prophets or anybody righteous uh, out of order like that, uncontrollable. The most high God is a God of order. Right. Doing stuff like that is it's all for show. Right. It's all for, it's like a, a circus. You know, and that's how our people, they get off on that. They like that thing. Yeah, John 6 and 63. This is the spirit because yeah. that that spirit is not of the most high God. It's a foul, right. evil spirit. Right. Meaning it's not, it's wickedness. This is what the spirit is. The book of John, chapter 6 and verse 63. Yeah. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The, the spirit that quickeneth. So this is the spirit. The spirit is the same thing as the Holy Ghost. Come on. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, the, what? the words that I speak unto you, they are spirits and they are life. Acts 7, uh, 51. So it said the spirits, that, the, the word that I speak to you is spirit and that's life. That's what the spirit is. It's not, it's not a feeling that comes over you to make you foam at the mouth and shake. You Harlem shaking in the church. You know right. what I'm saying? You doing all them things. Right. It's not of God. Right. This, yeah, you perform, you doing the actions of the spirit, meaning you keeping God's laws. This is uh, Acts 7. The book of Acts, chapter 7 and verse 51. Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, you do always resist the Holy Ghost. I'm Holy Ghost filled, sanctified. This is what the Holy Ghost is. That's what you hear people say, though, right? But this is the definition. The Bible answers everything. This is the definition of the Holy Ghost. Come on. Verse 53. Who have received the law, received what? the law by the dispensation of angels, and have not kept it. Right. So the Bible say that the Holy Ghost is the law. That's right. The law. It said that we received the, the uh, we received the law by the leaders, but we didn't want to keep it. We was a hard head, stiff neck, rebellious people. Right. We didn't want to keep the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost was during the time of the wilderness. The Holy Ghost was during the time of Adam, right. because we've always had the laws. Right. We've had the laws from the beginning. Genesis all the way to now, we still got to keep the law. Right. That's right. why we're in the conditions we're in right now. Right. Because we want to be a hard head, stiff neck people. Right. We don't want to listen. We don't want to have nobody have authority over us. Christ said, hey, them that wish that I, uh, I wouldn't reign over them, bring them here and I'm going to slay them. You oh, think I the mean. most high God, when we get the kingdom of heaven, Lord's will, you think it's going to be um, the things going on like today? You think it's going to be homosexuality, all this killing, murdering? Uh, getting over on one another, you think that's going to be in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus. Because if we're supposed to rehearse the righteous acts, people say that the law done away with. If the law done away with, that means everything is all good. Get that in the Sirach 15 and 20. Get up. I'll bring that out again. The law is not done away with. I'm here. Come on. The book of Sirach, chapter 15 and verse 20. Get he hath commanded no man to do wickedly. Neither has he given any man license to sin. Right. So we're supposed to keep God's commandments all the time. He has not given nobody the, the, the right to sin. 
He's not giving nobody the right to sin. So what is sin? We're going to get that. Officer Mike Judah is going to deal with him. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Right, get Baruch 4 and 1. Uh, sin is a transgression of the law. That's why we at the bottom of society. You already got it? Dang, brother in the spirit. I'll praise it. That's why we at the bottom of society, because we want to do our own thing. The uh, Moses in the Most High God, when you read in Deuteronomy, he set before us life and death. We chose death. The brother earlier said we got free will. In a sense, you do got free will. You got the you got the um, the choice to keep God's commandments and live, or you got the choice to be rebellious and get put to death. That's, That's right. why we get put to death. Get that. Get that in uh, Deuteronomy chapter thirty, verse fifteen, real quick. And then we're gonna go back to uh, Baruch chapter four, verse one. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter tw chapter thirty, verse. 15. See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. Right, so that's the commandments. We made an agreement with the Most High God that we would be his people. When you read in Exodus chapter 24, he made a covenant with us. We would be the we would be his people, he would be our God. But we choose not to keep the commandments. Verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and cursings. Therefore, choose life that, bo that both thou and thy seed may live. Right, so we already was told a long time ago, but you know how we are as so-called black people. We hard-headed. Right. Mama said, don't touch the stove. You touch the stove anyway. Right. And then get burnt up. Hey, the Most High God said, keep my commandments. We said, we ain't got to keep the commandments. We already in the promised land. We already got the kingdom. We, we know better than you, Most High God, so we're going to do what we want to do. The Most High is not going to always strive with men. Right. That's why you see us getting put to death. That's why Deuteronomy 28 happened to us. That's why we at the bottom. We got to start keeping God's commandments. Right. Right. Mark, Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endureth forever. Christ did away with the law. And the law that endureth forever. Pastor said, just pray and say thank you, Jesus. And the law that endureth forever. The laws of God endure forever. The laws is what bring order to this world. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.